Welcome, my friends, to the Information Technology Primer from Technology Profession. I'm your host, Perry Underdown, and I am so stoked you're here. Today, we're going to talk about, well, maybe not one of the, the most exciting topics, but definitely a really powerful topic, and that's information technology. Because here's the deal. Information technology is everywhere. It permeates our life. Everything you do, everything you touch, well, maybe not everything, but a lot, has at least some sort of tie-in or is impacted by or dependent on information technology. So that's why we've created the Information Technology Primer. The Information Technology Primer is specifically designed to help you get a handle on information technology. So maybe you're considering a new job. Maybe you're considering um, you know, moving into a management role where there's more of a technology focus. Um, maybe you're just tired of talking to that developer at work who talks over you all the time or kind of beneath you and says like things like, oh, well, we're using this API and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I have no idea what this guy's talking about. And they're super annoying to boot. Now you got it covered. You're going to get the foundation, the fundamentals. You're going to learn about information technology. And I'm going to help you through that. This program is specifically designed to be quick, straightforward, and easy, but to be informative enough so that when you walk away from it, you feel comfortable, you feel good, and you feel like you've got the foundation you need to deal with folks in information technology. Um, as we go through this program, there's gonna be a lot of overview of also different IT jobs. So if you're thinking to yourself, eh, it might be time for a change, the IT primer is gonna play right into the IT career path where we're gonna show things like different jobs, um, salaries, what people make, which by the way, IT pays, not gonna lie. IT pays better than almost any industry out there and requires a whole lot less education. Just gonna plant that seed right now, but let's move on. So let's talk about what the heck is information technology? Because IT, it's big. There's lots of pieces to it. So we're gonna really focus on what I believe to be the fundamentals. We're gonna really get into those components that um, are kind of core and that you're going to run into the most on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if you're not a technologist, but maybe you're a recruiter and you deal with people in technology, or maybe you're a project manager and you get sucked into, into technology projects. We've really tried to pro provide the components that are the most common and what you're going to run into the most. Um, a little caveat here for my technical brothers and sisters out there, there are definitely some things I left out, things that I felt were maybe a little more advanced. This is kind of a primer course to really help folks who aren't super technical or haven't had the exposure. So, you know, I want to be clear about that. There's lots and lots and lots to IT, and I really just focused on providing the fundamentals, and that's what we're going to cover today. So, IT, well, so you see IT or IT a lot. Just quick clarification. I'm sure everyone knows this, just thought I'd bring it up. IT equals information technology. IT is an acronym for IT you know, for information technology. Probably don't need to mention it, but I thought I would. All right, information technology. Well, I was trying to find definitions, you know, just kind of a starting point. And I went to the dictionary, went to Wikipedia, not super exciting stuff. So according to Merriam-Webster, IT is all technology involving the development, maintenance, and use of computer systems, software, and networks for the processing and distribution of data. All right, again, not, not super exciting. Wikipedia, a little more straightforward. The study or use of systems, especially computers and telecommunications for storing, retrieving, and sending information. That still doesn't really tell us what IT is. Well, when you think about IT, and as I said, IT touches almost every part of our life. It's, it's everywhere. Every Almost every activity you do on a daily basis has to do with IT. So when you're talking on the phone, you're talking over a network. That's IT. When you're shopping at the store, that's IT. When you go into the doctor and they're bringing up your medical records, IT. Traveling, you're booking that travel, you go to the airport, TSA is looking at your passport, all IT. Updating Facebook, Facebook is all kinds of IT. Sharing pictures, driving a car, registering your kids for school, listening to music, you know. Dating, not all that romantic, but OkCupid, okay, Match.com, that's a whole lot of IT. Getting married, you know, you got your registry going on, it's listed, you're gonna buy the plates, the little china, it's all IT. So these and a million other common activities 
um, you know, it's either the management, administration, or access, or updating of information. And that information is the foundation of information technology. So information technology exists to manage information. We live in this crazy era where suddenly there's insane amounts of information and IT has just become that much more important. So you're really picking a great time to learn about it. But when you think about IT, IT is not one thing. IT is a whole lot of things. It's made up of all these different components that integrate together, together and provide a vast array of functionality and services. And the thing is when one or more of those pieces stops working or is no longer available, the whole thing breaks down. So if you are working on technical projects or you're looking at like, you know, technology as a career, that's really important to keep in mind because you take one piece away and it all falls apart. So that's why it's important to understand all the pieces and how they fit together. All right, core components. As I said, these are the core foundational components I think are the most important to familiarize yourself and the ones most likely you're gonna come across kind of on your day-to-day -day basis. First, servers. Servers, it's super important. Servers are everywhere. Um, they're at your office, they're in the cloud. They're what provide services. They serve up different pieces of functionality that you need. They serve up websites, they serve up databases, they serve up security. Servers provide core services and are really a very huge part of information technology. Hardware. IT is very hardware centric. There's lots of hardware involved. If you've been to a data center, you know, there's cables everywhere. Um, computers are made up of lots and lots of different hardware pieces. So there's really a whole lot of you know, different com hardware components involved in information technology. And we're gonna dig into a fair amount of that. Networks. I, I would think that the network is why IT exists in the first place. Two guys got together and said, hey, I got a computer. I got a computer too. Let's connect them. And not was just IT was born, the internet was born. So networking is a huge topic we're gonna to cover. It's really that connecting together of multiple systems to exchange information, to share information, to disseminate information, to manage systems. It's all done over the network and we're gonna get into that. Operating systems makes it happen. You can't have a computer or server, all that hardware is useless unless you've got an operating system to make things happen. So operating system super critical. We're going to cover that. Databases. Your data, and let me tell you, you got a lot of it. You got pictures, you got your music, you've got your Facebook posts. It's all out there and it's all in databases. Databases are so critical. Again, lots and lots and lots of data being produced every day. And uh, it, all that data resides in a database. Then we got data or information. I feel like I could actually make this the center point for the entire course because IT exists because of data or we're going to use data and information interchangeably for this course, but that data needs to be processed and stored. It needs to be accessed. It needs to be indexed. And every piece of your life now is a piece of information, is a piece of data. As we discussed, your medical records, your school records, it's all data. And there's a lot of it out there. And for the first time in human history, we're producing just insane amount. And that's a new concept for us. We've never, I mean, when I was a kid, definitely I didn't have iTunes or I didn't have Facebook. There wasn't all that information. So a st quick statistic, and we'll get into this later, 90% of all information that exists out there today exists, has been created in the last two years. So data is super important and really kind of at the heart of what we're talking about here. Development. All those great apps. You play Angry Birds on your phone, you're playing your Xbox, you're on your computer doing Microsoft Word. All those different software programs were developed and they were developed by developers. And we're gonna spend definitely some great time talking about different kinds of developers in different development languages and different development methodologies. We'll get into all that. Applications. Applications are created through the development process by developers. And again, those are those programs that run on your computer that you use every day, your email, word processing games, all application slash programs. Again, another clarification, application slash program, we're kind of using those interchangeably as well. Mobile. Now, I would say mobile is more of a concept than a component, you know, because there's a lot to it as well. But I really wanted to cover it here at our foundation because mobile's changing the world. 90% of human beings on the planet 
are expected to be able to connect to the internet by 2020 via a mobile device. So the entire way of how we integrate with information, how we live our lives, are being defined by the mobile smartphone experience tablet. So we're gonna really dig in, talk about mobile. You know, again, it's a lot of the same concepts, all the same components, but it's just a different platform. It's a platform with some pretty large ramifications that we'll wanna talk about. Cloud computing, it's all going to the cloud. Now, that's probably oversimplification, but in the past, all, your company and lots of other companies have these big data centers. Maybe they have a data center um, in their office space, or maybe they have a data center hosted somewhere, but they took care of all these huge amounts of servers and networking equipment, and they served those up and made them available to the company. That's no longer necessary. A lot of those services are being served up in the cloud. So instead of having to configure a server, you set up an instance in the cloud. And companies like Microsoft with the whole Azure platform or Office 365 or Amazon Web Services allow you to set up these environments in a much more cost-effective and easy to manage process without having to host all these big data centers that need to be like air conditioned and powered. So it's all moving to the cloud, definitely for consumer applications, it's all going to the cloud. So we're definitely gonna spend some quality time talking about that. Management tools. So IT is this big sprawling thing with all these components. You gotta have the tools to manage them. You gotta have the ability to go out there and um, update a server with a new software patch, you know, update 20 servers at once or update you know, security authentication rules at once, or patch desktops so they don't get viruses on them. It's, you know, when you think about like an average company and you've got tens of thousands of people across that company and things need to be updated and maintained, you need a set of tools to make that happen. So management tools, really important. It's one of those things you never really see, it's always in the background, but it's a good thing to just kind of make you aware of that they're out there and, uh, and they're really very important for information technology to function effectively. Security. Yeah, I, I must hear at least one story a month about some jerk hacking into a company, stealing credit cards and social security and medical information. Unfortunately, we live in a world with some devious folks in it. And because that information is so readily available, it's gotta be secured, but it, Securing it doesn't mean just like not making it accessible. Security means locking it down so the wrong people don't get access to it, why companies and individuals who need access can still do their work. And that's a tricky balance. And having individuals who really understand security and the ins and outs of it is so critical because security isn't just about the hardware like a firewall or a proxy server. It's about things like behavioral patterns and you know, putting best practices into place. So there's a really a lot to security and we're gonna cover that as well. All right, so just a quick intro. Again, we're super stoked you're here with us. We're really looking forward to sharing the joys of information technology with you. Obviously, we're pretty fired up about it. We love it. Um, the goal again for this is to make sure that at the end of the primer, you have just that good foundational overview of information technology that's comprehensive enough that you understand the building blocks, but we're not gonna inundate you with like a lot of things you just simply will not need to know. So thanks so much, stay with us, and we've got a great program to share with you.